actually supposed to be the 20k subscriber special for our YouTube community, which is amazing. I I couldn't Gonzo! really thank you enough. No thank you. And uh, I'm really honored and humbled to make it all the way to 20k. And this is for you. We're going to be revisiting one of the, the most iconic videos that we've done on the channel so far. And that video is ranking every single branded Despia in Alba's card from best to worst. And you can see it's not every single card in the lore. The lore is not what's in question here. What we're discussing today is the cards that are relevant for the branded deck. Cards that have... Basically, it's cards that are either Despia or branded cards, but also cards that mention Fallen of Albas. That's why you will see some Springens cards here. And the way we're going to be judging them is by Goaded, very good, just okay, experimental and unplayable. And the way that we're going to be judging them based on how good they are in branded. So it's not how good the card is in theory, it's how good it is and its application in branded specifically so enjoy this this is going to be really fun if you want to do this live with us join our twitch community the link is going to be in the description below let's start off with um blazing cartesia the virtuous i think that since the moment this card came out it changed the way branded is played i think that the option to special summon quick fuse on either main phase is really really the cornerstone of this deck fusion deployment has been a staple in the deck since this card came out this obviously also ties into grand Guignol. and i think there's not going to be a ton of goaded cards here but it's pretty easy to assume that cartesia is just a goaded card probably one of the top three cards that actually make the deck run the way it does think about like triggering your lost getting to gimmick puppet nightmare getting to grand Guignol, which can send you anything um, being like the counterpart to Albaz when you need to fuse with lights, being able to recycle itself in the graveyard every single end phase, this card is absolutely huge. I think we're going to be judging all of the bestials together when it comes to branded specifically. So obviously we know that a lot of these cards are extremely good in general. Like basically every single one of these is, is a really good card. Um, I think in the context of branded though, I think it looks basically like this right i think serenir is a really really well designed card that works extremely well in the context of this deck when you have albi on the shrouded dragon which we'll get to it works in such harmony inside the deck being able to send any branded spell trap magnemite obviously searches a lot of your engine searches albaz but it's not goaded because it doesn't serve the combo specifically I think. And I think these two are just okay. I think Baldrake might even be a little bit better in Branded, right? I think specifically in the Branded Despia deck, this is how it really looks like with Abyss Chills. Um, Tragedy is very good. Enables your chain blocks and a great one-off target for Foolish Gold Sark. It's an awesome card. And I think the Graveyard Effect is also something that people a lot of the times miss completely that it's just so broken people don't still to this day this deck has been out for like three years people don't know that this card has a graveyard effect and it's amazing and it's all also one effect per turn but just so you know um mercurier i'm honestly gonna put it at just okay it has a good banish effect but it's it's a little bit harder to pull off in branded is it very good i don't think it's very good it might be controversial a bit like adding that extra negate is usually a it's a good way to of like branded to deal with stuff that usually the deck can't get rid of. The deck is mostly focused on removal. Removal through fusion, through banishing, through popping the entire field. But Mercurier is kind of like the cherry on top. I think regained is a good card, but not in the context of branded Despia specifically. This is good. When you have decks that can generate advantage from this, Dragon Link, for example, um, or proactively activated with what we saw with Runic Bestial, for example, that you can actually like SP a little night. You can do this in the in this deck, and I think that's why it's like experimental in like heavy Bestial builds. This card, I think this card is is very good. I think right now we're seeing a meta where this card is like 
a lot more playable, I would say. I, I think it's a very, very good card. It might even be a little bit better than Tragedy because the fact is that as the deck evolved and grew, this card became better. Like the more targets you had and the more versatility you had with this card, it, it has become better. And I think that a card that searches every card in your deck, basically, and sets up the graveyard, it's very good on the verge of being goaded. Branded in red. Branded in red is good, but I think like what you can do with branded red is better. I think branded in red is like annoying to me because it banishes the materials. It needs to add to the hand and then summon. So you can't really recycle fusions with it. And also it doesn't have a graveyard effect, which is annoying. It doesn't have a secondary effect. Obviously the first effect is very, very, very strong. But this card is, is the probably the bottom of like very good. It's obviously like one of the cards you go into the most. It's versatile. It's a quick play. It's not restricted so much. It doesn't even lock you into fusions. But um, it's it still has some annoying kinks. It's obviously here better than Magnemite. Branded Beast is sort of like the same thing with with Regained. I think. Um, I think it's like a version with a lot of bestials. Yeah, could definitely run this. Could could definitely see it, see it happen. Decisive Battle of Gol Golgonda has seen some headlines recently, but it's really playable in probably only stun decks. You wouldn't play this in, in this deck. It's just a flavor card. Goaded card, like, extremely goaded. This card is so underrated. People who have been playing this deck for a long time know how much this card is, is important to the deck. Like, this card is just crazy. It has a really good negate on field. And the fact that it recycles the materials from the um, from the graveyard to the deck as a counter trap, I think it's incredible. And I think that the, f the fact that you can dump it, banish it, return cards, it works so well within the, the ecosystem of the deck. It's just like, just incredible. Granginiel is also goaded. It's probably like here, I, I would say. Um, this is probably above, like these two kind of come together with Shrouded, right? It's all like the same package. But Granginiol is just, honestly, it might be better. Nah, Cartesia is a bit more versatile. But Gr Granginiol is, I think when these two cards came out, this is when the deck became insane to me. Like this is when the deck hit its peak. And even without Cyberstorm Axis, these cards were just incredible. Lubelion is, I think it's very good. Being able to like shuffle non-target. Honestly, like it might be like this. Maybe it could be like this. But then, like, all the fusions need to be there. I think Nadir Servant is, like, just okay in Branded. It, it's seen some peaks of interest. I think still it's, like, a good way to play around hand traps. But it also requires you have, like, a little bit of a setup in your main deck in the extra deck. Which I'm not a huge fan of. Like, that's the reason why you don't see, like, Maximus and Lulu. Even though they're, like, pretty solid card. Masquerade, probably, like, a, like a v v low very good card. It's a good card, it has a good effect, but it is very restricted. Um, you can like out this, when it comes back, like why does it even need to come back? And when it comes back, it doesn't have the burn effect, like whatever, right? Um, I think Mirror Jade is gonna take like the, probably like the first, like Branded Fusion is probably probably gonna take the first spot. But honestly, Mirror Jade is, is even better than Branded Fusion because it is a Branded Fusion. I think people like hate this card with a burning passion. Like this card is ex so extremely overpowered. It's it's insane. Titanic Lad is gonna be like here, I think. Um, it's on field effect is like fine. It's able to like out things. It's unaffected. It can out like a noir or like a big body, but it's a shame it doesn't have another effect. It came, really came like tied into to the strategy when Quem came out, but yeah. Um, I think Etude of the Brand is like a bit unplayable like in every deck. Adlib is, Adlib is probably like just okay. Now with Quem, this card just got nerfed with Quem because you just change your strategy altogether. Like if you asked me back in the day, this card was obviously goaded. This card made the deck run really well. But yeah, I think this card is severely underrated. I mean, maybe maybe not. Like Quem is just, whew, Jesus Christ. What a design of a card. I think it has to be like somewhere here, probably. Probably has to be like somewhere here. I'm, I'm kind of like in awe of the fact that they managed to design this archetype so well. And having Quem as like the finale is kind of amazing. 
Like, this is a huge gift to, to branded players, honestly. This card is so incredibly well designed, being a Dogmatica, being a Despia, being able to dump any card, like it's foolish for anything. It has two effects that both can activate in the same turn. This card is incredible. Theater of the Branded is like low experimental and like heavy Despia build. Same with Comedy. Back in the day, it was a nice card to dodge like Skill Drain with. Today, you're not gonna really see play. Uh, Praskinian is probably like low okay. It, it is way too, like, it's a very old card design. It's very restrictive. Even though it has some applications, it's seen some play, but I don't think it's justified. I think this card is probably here, Despian Quiritus. This card has been like one of my favorite X-Rag monsters for as long as I've been playing this deck. This card is just amazing. I think Branded Banishment is like, okay i think it's even experimental because it's only like a good card for the mirror it's not good into any meta it's annoying that it doesn't target fallen valbaz and it could have been a little bit better design branded befallen extremely unplayable um it, it's like a pure bestial card which is not not a thing yet to be honest sprint is like um i think sprint is like low okay it's so bad sometimes the card that makes it good is 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 the next card and it's Fallen Valdez. And I think this card, we we need to talk about this card. Because this card is obviously the card. Everything around, like everything you see here revolves around one monster. And in the beginning, this monster was incredibly unplayable because there was just one target to fuse with. And later on, it became better and better and better and better and better. And the card became the best version of itself when Quem came out. Quem made Albas good. The card itself is, is not very good, right? Everything around it makes it good. Some unplayable traps that we haven't played, like Branded Bond, it's just a, such a bad card, very old design. Um, let's get a few of these out of the way. Branded Disciple, I think it was like early experimental. You can negate Ash Blossom with this card. In a very niche situation, you know. Um, branded Loss. All these cards that you don't really know what they do. Branded Center, Central Dogmatic. I actually know what this does, but it's highly, highly unplayable. Um, very, like, flavor, lore. Um, judgment of the Branded. Screams of the Branded. Like, these are probably here because they... Sometimes they will have an implication. And also Light of the Branded is, like, probably here. It does summon a Fallen Valbez, which is cool. Right? So these are just like the the extras, the one that are just there to tell a story. Um, I think I'm going to put Branded Fusion second place to, to Mirror Jade. Think about this card. It only has one effect. It does one thing. It does one insane thing. It's an extremely good card. I still, to this day, cannot believe this card is at three. And we're obviously all here because of this card. <laughs> but I don't think it's better than Mirror Jade. Branded Lost, I'm going to put it probably like here it doesn't do anything on its own and i think that's the problem with this card it's obviously a great supplement this deck is all about the one-offs this is not a proactive card and this is why i don't like it i like proactive proactive effects things that you can control where, when you trigger them uh, and this is like you need to rely on your things to resolve it's obviously an incredible card um, magical meltdown is, is very strong effect um, but on its own in a vacuum it's not it's not it the Bestial Lubellion in branded specifically is like low ver um that's a lie. I think here is definitely good. I think Lubellion as a Serenir, you can dub it as a light target, it tributes the Albion, it sets up the lost. Very solid card, very important to the deck. Branded opening is probably like here. Maybe even here, I think. Discarding for effect, being a quick play, allowing you to play ar around a lot of things. And on top of all of that, it protects your fusion monsters in the from like by banishing itself from the graveyard. This card is mega mega goaded. Mega 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 goaded. Honestly. Like this card is is so so good. Um, and I think Albion's is also Albion is also goaded, but I think that we need to be aware of the fact that Albion is also kind of like Fallen of Albaz. Um, it might like this is a gonna be a hot take it's not even goaded in my opinion i think it obviously 
it's clearly the card that makes the deck run, but it is good because of other cards. It's good because you can send it with Lubelion. It's good because you can send it off a of Mirror Jade. It's good because Brandon in Red is good, right? It's just a tool, I think. Um, and I think, like, having an on summon fusion effect that banishes, okay. Like, Cartesia is more impressive. And I think Lubelion is also more impressive than Albion. Like, the Lubelion's effect is crazy when you think about it. Like, non targeting and from banished. I honestly think that Branded Expulsion is not that good of a card. <laughs> the only reason why this card is banned is Gimmick Puppet Nightmare. It's a lot of cards, but the card is not at fault. Kon Konami is at fault here. Um, like this card, think about this. This card is a lore card. Why, why does it have the effect that it has? It tributes a fusion, it breaks apart a fusion and s summons back both of its materials. Ideally, right? They made it a bit stronger. It can summon from the banished. It can summon from, you know, because you, some of your effects banish when fusion summoning, right? So Konami just created absurd, unfair cards. And this card got banned for those cards. Um, it's not a good card. Like, like the same way Light of the Brand is not a good card. Like this is a lore flavor card. And uh, yeah. Branded Sword is actually probably like here. It has a solid effect. It summons tokens. It returns a banished card. It's actually not bad. It's probably like around here. Check it out. Lulu is like annoying. I think it's like, Lulu is like, <laughs> Lulu is like, oh my God. Yeah, I think Lulu is here. Exactly. I think this is exactly where I like Lulu with Lilith. Um, very promising card, very interesting. However, it doesn't do anything for branded. It needs to be combined with Nadir Servant. It's a synchro, it's counter strategy. You can summon it out of Grand Gignol, but you know, when you're locked, it's 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 a bit weird. So yeah. Okay. Running through the rest. We're almost there. Uh, this is this is gonna be a long but fun, I think ho hopefully fun and funny video for you guys. Branded in white is probably here. The fact that it modulates its effect of banishing from the graveyard, but also sending from the hand and field, I think it's really cool. I think it's even better than the Bestials in this deck, or even better than Mercurier. This is a really creative way of like applying effects, sending Shrouded with like a high spirits or something, send banishing it as Albaz. Very cool card design, good card design, searchable, allows you to extend past hand traps. Awesome. Alba Lenidus is like honestly here. It's experimental. It's probably here, realistically, because it's also dependent on the format. Like if, if there's a like, maybe now with Tenpai, this card is going to see more play. Maybe. Because this card can just shroop, suck up all your opponent's dragons. Um, goaded card. Goaded card. Honest to God, like such a goaded card, this card. Um, foolish is from the deck, draws one. I think that, I don't want to take credit for the three Albion, but... Two regionals ago, uh, I think it was the last one in Age of Overlord. I was going, I was building my branded deck to, to the regional. I was like, why the hell am I not playing three of this card? Why would I not want to see this fucking card every single hand? Every hand I want to see this card. It draws me a card and it foolishes anything that I want from the deck. Wh why would I not want this? And then it kind of became standard. And I think this card is absolutely incredible. Being a Fallen of Albaz, sending Fall of, Al of Albaz, sending Retribution, sending this to protect. Just powerhouse. A Luber is actually... I think it's actually kind of goaded. I think a Luber is like here. I think it's mainly because of its graveyard effect. Being like a normal summon search. Okay, cool. You can search Brand Diffusion. Lol. But the graveyard effect is actually very, very good. Think about how many games you won. Because your opponent didn't respect the Aluber in your grave. Access code, pop your fusion, Aluber, negate the access code. It happened to me so many times, dude. It's obviously the black goat laughs. It does laugh. Albus the Ash End is like low experimental. Brigrand is cute, but also probably around here. It's a playable card, but like these, this is where it starts <laughs> becoming unplayable, right? Um, Dogmatic Encounter, just horrible. Ecclesia and Branded. 
it's probably like high experimental like you could play this in branded but the problem is like going into a board of like a albaz it's gonna get negated then we have some spring ends cards that are that mention fall of albaz but unfortunately are not playable in the deck and then we have spring ends kit which is high i think it's the highest just okay very cool card design um if you open this with high spirits you get a free special it returns cards from the banished or from the graveyard which is awesome i think it's very high just okay and Rindbrum is probably here probably here a very good like couple of effects the problem is probably the material and the fact that it's kind of small but think about this like i i was playing locals last week in the sneak peek against snake eye and like you shotgun this directly from your deck automatically have a negate to everything that they have it's kind of nuts it's kind of nuts and of course the graveyard effect being able to summon an albaz also another card that really buffs up albaz um more cards that are just like spring ends cards that mention fall of albaz golden sword soul we saw that it was like experimental in um in runic bestial but like in branded it has like probably close to zero application i think i'm gonna put it here right right behind um dramaturge definitely had its time definitely had its time this card is good this card is extremely good it's huge it has a really good effect like really good two effects summons itself back negates i think this card is extremely solid it's probably like very it's very close to lulu because they kind of do the same thing um which i like Let's leave Sanctifier for the end because uh, it might be the last time we <laughs> we talk about him as a branded card, right? Uh, Blazing Branded King, I think, is like the very least of just okay. This card is playable. This card is playable, even here. This card is playable. This card is good. This card, in my opinion, is not seeing enough play. And uh, you should consider this. New Frontier is unplayable. Bistial Luber is like very like high highly unplayable in in branded specifically it offers zero purpose and last two cards the the newest fusions dogmatic calamity the new card i don't remember the effect by heart but it has like pretty impossible summoning conditions that you can like you know pull off in tier elements and stuff or like with lubalion when you already have like set up I think it's going to be like um, very, very low experimental. Probably like here. It's not going to be good enough. And then finally, um, I'm even going to zoom in for that a bit and uh, give the stage to. We probably should have done this video in this level of zoom, but yeah. Um, I'll be on the Sanctifier Dragon. This card is unfortunately like people a lot of people are calling this card to get banned right but i think it's the same case as branded expulsion this card on its own is pretty solid like it would probably be for me here realistically it will be here because the effect the graveyard effect is ass and like just pure flavor and the on-field effect is pretty good. It cannot be targeted. Maybe that puts him, like, gives it a little bit of a bonus. The fact that it can be targeted and the fact that it cannot be used as fusion material, I kind of like that. They kind of treat him as a fusion in the lore as well, which is which is cool. But the effect on its own is not an interruption. So I'm going to put it back here, I think. I think even, like, yeah, these cards don't contribute to... I'm going to revisit these for a second. I think Albion is like here. Now, these cards, I'm going to rank them a bit lower just because they don't contribute to the Despia strategy specifically, right? Um, these cards are like actual Despia branded cards. This is going to be it. I don't want to keep you any longer, but we've done it. This is the list. Um, let me know what you think about this. I really enjoyed making this. Um, and check out the latest one. I'm going to link it. And we'll see how different it is from what we already did. Uh, yeah, this was this was really fun. Uh, thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. Haven't had the chance to thank you so formally yet. And uh, I hope that you're enjoying my content as much as I enjoy making it for you. So, uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.